Hello everyone, this is Argon Matrix, so we mean episode 5 of The Legend of Zelda, Majora's Mask. And let's talk to this guy now. He's basically going to say the same thing, except I think that the record this time is actually a minute and 16 seconds. Why they added an extra second, I'd, an act, extra, yeah, a minute 16. Why they added that extra second, I really have no idea. But anyways, um, here we go. Here we go! I like to go for that, like, closer, um, up and down one the first one and that's the first one I usually go for you can just barely make it so it's nice then I go for the middle here usually oh uh, yeah this one is yeah like I said since this is a mixture one um that I think that just the adding of the up and down ones makes it e infinitely easier than the other than the one in the second day because I just think that the ones that move from like in squares are a lot harder Alright, so now I'm just gonna have to wait for the perfect timing here. Um, that should be good, actually. Let's see. Did I do it right? Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Lovely. Alright, I'm gonna shoot up here. Um, I hope I can just, like, hover here for a little bit. Yes, you can just hover forever. That's awesome. That is very useful. Alright, make sure you take note of that if you're gonna do this game. That's very useful. Alright. Uh, I kind of skipped a stack accidentally there, but well, you're obviously a pro, and pros can't play here. Take this and don't come back. Aw, oh, dude, I'm being shunned. But I got a heart piece, which is basically the whole point of doing that. Ah, ads are going hot. <laughs> Sweet, I have fangirls who are really big fat Deku scrubs. All right, anyways, um, I think that's all I'm gonna do for this three-day cycle. Um. Now I'm just going to go ahead and go dance with the Scarecrow and pass some time. Alright, so yeah, let's go back to the observatory. Um, I'm not going to cut there. Just make this episode a bit longer. This is going to probably turn out to be a shorter episode. I don't know. Maybe not. There are actually two Scarecrows in town, in Clocktown. Um, one of them is a lot closer than this one I'm going to, but I have a special reason for going to this one. And you will see that, actually. Um, it's kind of interesting. I haven't seen it in the LP before, really. Alright. So we're just going to go ahead and out here. The Majora's Mask balloon is gone. Yep. Climb on up, climb on up. And let's go over here and I'll show you the awesome dance with Pierre. That's just what I'm going to call him. I don't care what his real name is. He's Pierre. And he needs to get his face out of my place. Shall we dance? Yes. Right. Oh yeah. In that case, forget the time. Let's dance, baby. And here he goes. Oh, surprise song. Sweet. He's going crazy. He's doing the wave. He's doing the wave. He's doing the electric mumbo jumbo polymatron thing. Nice. And it is now the night of the final day. Nice shot of the telescope there. The telescope. Oh yeah, how was it? It went by in an instant, right? I'm still full of energy. Both outside, it seems to have gotten kind of dangerous. Oh, wait, but outside, it seems to have gotten kind of dangerous. Yikes, I'm getting out of town. Take care. I know, Mr. No, I don't care about your stupid song, because I don't have my ocarina yet. Alright, and he disappears. You can't dance with him on the night of the final day, because then you'll basically just warp to the part where like the moon comes down and crashes into the town that I was talking about. But yeah, so basically we just have to wait six hours for the night for until, oh, just a second. Yeah, we have to wait six hours until the clock tower opens and we can go up there. But I'm going to actually stay out here. I have my reasons, I have my reasons, trust me. So, um, I think so you don't have to watch me wait another five hours, even though like in-game time goes really fast. I'm just going to cut it until it gets close to midnight, and, uh, yeah. So, we're just going to stare at the moon for a little bit here, and I will see you at midnight of the final day. See you then.
Alright guys, it is approximately 11.30 p.m. in-game time, so we're about to see, um, like, when the clock strikes 12, we will see a cutscene of the clock tower opening, and let's just get ready to watch it right about, uh, now. And the earth shakes violently, and check this out, oh god, zooming out from the moon, see the fireworks? Yep, this is pretty awesome. Nice view of the clock tower from there. And... Boom! 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 The clock tower opens up. And epic shot is epic. Yeah. Alright, and basically that... The whole reason I came out here to the, the astronomy area outside of it is because um this area that I was standing in it technically counts as outside of Clock Town. And by the way, this music is awesome. This ominous music that plays in the last six minutes here. Oh god, those seconds tick fast. Uh yeah, once once this countdown starts, you really want to make it there quick. But yeah. Um, basically the reason I was standing up there is because the cutscene you just saw is different from the cutscene you will see if you are inside of Clock Town during the, during the first like three days here. And like if you ever if you ever see that scene again later on, I don't want to spoil anything, but and you're outside of Clock Town, then it will look the same as if it were in Clock Town still. So that's the only opportunity you get to see that scene. So that's oh I don't want to talk to you. Shut up. Jimmy follower man. Alright, yeah. See, even though I was like as far away from the clock tower as possible, I still made it with plenty of time. I'm still gonna make it with plenty of time to spare. I mean, seriously. Yep, and this is why you needed to do all that Moon's Tear, um, Hide and Go Seek, Bomber's Gang, Deku flower stuff. All to get to this flower so we can fire up. Oh my god, the moon is so close. Jeez. And go to here, the entrance. Yes, I know. And up the stairs we go to see what awaits us at the top of the clock tower. What is it? But <gasps> the Skull Kid? Oh my god, is he the one behind the moon crashing into the town? I assume so. Dude, that's my ocarina. You better not drop that. Actually, you better so I can pick it up. Dots. Sis! Ah, so we've been looking for you too. Let's go, Kim. What do you keep that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? No, I don't think he is listening. Wait. Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four who are there, bring them here. What the? Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. Dude, you're such a douche. No, what are you doing to my brother? Skull kid, do you think you're still our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. He he. Am I missing something here? Who are the four? Who are they? What are, what are you talking about? Just look above you. If it's something that can be stopped, then just try to stop it. I'll just hold my hand above my head and block it. Oh, shit. What are you doing? You're making that purple force field like Gander around us in the final battle. Ocarina of Time. <gasps> the moon's coming down faster now. Oh, my God. Scary shit. And what do we have now? <gasps> Five minutes to apocalypse. Yep, that reminds me of the title of an English essay I wrote called Three Days to Apocalypse, based around this game. I got an A. Alright, so fire a bubble at his skinny little ass. And he'll drop the ocarina just that easily. Makes a little clinky sound when he when he drops. Now let's go pick it up and you got back the ocarina. You got the ocarina of time back. Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. Set it to C and use A and the four C buttons to play it. Press B to stop. Suddenly, memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. Rushing back to you. Rushing back to you. Rushing back to you. You are already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please, take this.
I am praying. I am praying that your journey be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. This reminds me of us. This song seems familiar. By the way, I wasn't talking there or like commentating or anything during that scene because that scene is just so cute. The fact that they made it black and white makes it all the better. And that Epona is even there. That's pretty awesome. This is just like nice nostalgic feeling. I don't know. Something about it is just epic. Really. You remember the song of time. This melody lingering on the edges of your mind is a song of the memories of Princess Zelda. And we ride away on Epona that's somehow fully grown even though we're just a kid. Whatever. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you. And yep. And now, coming back to reality, of course. Just had to leave that. Snap out of it. Wait, snap out of it. Why are you doing off the memories? Get yourself together. Doesn't that old locker in the back thing gonna help us? I changed the voice there a little bit, but... Oh well. Somebody, anyway, got some time. Help us. We need more time. We need more time. That pretty much describes the entire game in a nutshell. Anyways, um, yep, so she basically said, Goddess of Time, help us. And we learned that the Song of Time will call the Goddess of Time to help us. So, let's play it. Huh? Friends is your dead instrument. What the fuck? That's not an ocarina. Well, it's all we got, so. There we go. Song of Time. Save and return to the dawn of the first day. What? Time travel? No way. Dude, that's awesome. And yes, it is real. You can just play that song anytime. Return to the dawn of the first day. You lose all your rupees, all your consumables, pretty much everything. Except like really important items and heart pieces and stuff. And you just go back way back see this cutscene you don't you, you don't see this every time you play that song by the way just the first time so yeah we got thrown off our horse and he turned us into a deku scrub and we were like no our dick is wooden now oh my god that's a scary shot dawn of the first day 72 hours remain that is right whoa 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 trippy 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 bam bam I love that effect, it's like a grandfather clock's thing, pendulum swing, and then it just like stops. Like, what, what happened? Everything has. And? Everything's frozen except for the clock for some reason, whatever. Start it over. Oh, you couldn't hear me at all there. My vo That voice is just so hoarse, still. Oh my god, a, an hour and 24 minutes in my recording session already? Damn. Well, I'm guessing, I guess time flies when you're having fun. What, what are you anyway? I thought you played that instrument. The instrument! Oh my god, that was horrible. Wait, that's a, your instrument! The mask salesman said if you got back the- The mask salesman said if you got back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. I'm sorry, I can't do that voice in this recording session anymore. She talks too much in this first part of the game to me do, doing that incessantly. Did you forget or what? And that is that, basically. We have saved, returned to the dawn of the first day, and go away, dog, no! And basically, that's it. Um, by the way, you can't save like you could for in Ocarina of Time just from this pause menu. And okay, so it looks like this episode has shaped out to be actually pretty much a full episode, almost. And I think I'm going to end off my recording session now. My voice is tired. I'm tired myself. I have a busy day tomorrow. Um, so yeah. This has been my first recording session ever in Majora's Mask. It's been like, what, six, five episodes long, maybe? I don't know. Anyways, um, so yeah. Uh, in the next episode, we'll do, well, I guess we'll return, and we'll show the Mask Salesman our instruments. It's just said he could change us back with it. So, thank you everyone for watching these first parts of Majora's Mask, especially if you actually did watch them. If not, then... Whatever. Anyways, this is Argon Matrix signing out. Thank you, and good night.